Welcome to the project demonstration of uh, smart reception system. So here uh, we are using Raspberry Pi along with Pi camera and uh, servo motor for uh, monitoring the section like uh, whenever a person trying to access the door then he or she are, has to press this calling bell. At the same time the system will capture the image with the help of this Pi camera and the particular image will be sent to the registered email ID that is the main authorized person and by seeing the image by opening the email so if you want to give the access granted then you need to reply through the mail granted or if you don't want to give the grant uh, like granted one then you need to reply to the uh, mail like in uh, denied so when you send the denied mail then that will be uh, read by this raspberry pi and uh, then it will process that mail and if it is consist of denied or granted it will execute the system if it is granted then the servo motor will open the door for 90 degrees for a round of 4 to 5 seconds and automatically closes uh, for the, uh, after that and if it is denied the buzzer will continuously on and the denied message will be displayed on the LCD screen if it is granted granted message will be displayed on the LCD screen so we are using calling bell switch and that was interfaced to the raspberry pi through this breadboard so here the breadboard purpose is to interface the switch as well as to provide the 5 volts power supply from this adapter to the servo motor to the switch and to this LCD display to the buzzer and this is the power supply adapter for the only Raspberry Pi so we are providing two different power sources as this uh, uh, servo motor will take the more power while execution in order to eliminate the power fluctuations we are providing the two separate separate power supplies so before like uh, execution of this project initially we need to load the Raspbian OS into this 32 GB ultra SD card micro SD card after loading the OS we need to connect the micro SD card to this Raspberry Pi and we need to connect the HDMI screen to this slot and on the power supply there we can see the desktop view and in that we will write the code in Python language that code is nothing but it will read the input from the switch and based on that capture the image sending the email and read the email continuously once it's a, whether it is a granted or denied that will be misled, misled displayed on the LCD screen and on the buzzer and control the servo motor for the access grant purpose so these are the instructions we are given in the python language to the raspberry pi coming to the interfacing connections we have interfaced the switch at pin number 4 and pin number 26 for the servo motor pi camera directly at the pi camera slots and lcd display at pin number 17 27 22 9 10 11 pins through these cables and buzzer interface at the pin number 18 and this is the breadboard this we discussed so the, this button and this work as a both which, uh, both operations so before execution of this project we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so for that go to hotspot settings and change the hotspot configure that to uh, PRO JECT 5754 all are small letters without any space check ending also no space should be there and password should be 12345678 and AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz after this configuration successfully done on the hotspots on the data and login to the gmail now on the power supply for the both adapters one and two once the raspberry pi got the power supply there we can see the yellow light is blinks as it's uh, booting the memory card and uh, when this uh, under power supply getting power supply like uh, lcd will get switched on so wait till the one device is connected in your mobile phone to the hotspots so now zero device connected it will take around of 60 seconds for booting and once the booting successfully done one device will be connected over here and after that 30 seconds duration the system will execute the python code and uh, once the python code executed successfully then uh, the welcome message will be displayed on the lcd screen as well as the buzzer will get on and off two times so that's the indication of the python code got executed and uh, once the LCD display uh, shows the welcome message there you can see the one light gets switched on on camera also so camera light gets switched on buzzer on and off two times and LCD display will show the welcome message on the screen yes we can see one device got connected in your mobile phone 
and after this around of 30 to 40 seconds duration uh, camera light will get switched on as well as a welcome message will be displayed along with the buzzer so just now we place this one in front of this camera right so as you can see the camera light gets switched on welcome message displayed smart receptionist now it is monitoring so when a person he or she are trying to access the door then just press and hold this till the sending mail displayed on the lcd screen and now stay on the gmail once the mail sent successfully that you can see that the main important point is before switch on the gauge you should enable the hotspot with the prescribed name and uh, password then only on the cage there you can see one mail got arrived in your mailbox alerts so this is the image we have received by seeing that image if the person want to give the access then just reply to that type granted better to write small letters first is capital is okay fine but not all the letters as a captain so like this granted so it will take around of 20 to 30 seconds for mail arriving and as well as uh, the mail has to be retrieved and it has to extract this particular text on successful extract this one then it will compare with the condition right now the access granted door opens right so now if you want to deny one just press and hold this you're not supposed to reply to the same mail you should reply to the new mail because if you reply to this uh, old mail only then that particular mail consists of granted message previously then it will provide the granted only now right another mail arrived you can see the timing also over there and uh, denied denied is uh, nothing but any uh, like uh, small letters or capital letters so denied and send the denied Based on the network speed, the mail uh, will be extracted by the Raspberry Pi. Right, access denied. So main important point is first thing is on the hotspot along with data and while reply to the mail you should reply to the new arrived mail only don't reply to the previous mails right